As we get closer to the scheduled launch of Axiom's first station segment in 2025, we are learning more about the exact plan for this commercial LEO destination. While Axiom gets the significant benefit of attaching to the International Space Station initially, they still have to leave before it's retired. This puts somewhat of a deadline on the modules that are sent up and affects the order they attach to the station. As of right now, the plan is still to send at least four segments up to the station before 2030. These segments, for the most part, are all similar with the exception of interior outfitting and operational capabilities. With only so many segments, Axiom is working to ensure the station can be properly powered and support multiple astronauts for long periods of time. This is much easier said than done, and when combined with the ISS connection, requires Axiom to stay on track in the coming years. Here I'll go more in depth into the design of the station and its initial segments, the significance of the ISS connection, what to expect in the coming months, and more. While there's still room and time for various features to change, for the most part, the core design and plan are set in place. This has to do with the fact that construction is already underway and has been for a while now. Following the completion of preliminary and critical design reviews in collaboration with NASA, Axiom's partners began welding and machining activities for the primary structures of Axiom Station's first module. By now, large core structures are already complete and getting ready to turn into a complete station. For example, each Axiom module's primary structure features four radial bulkheads to which other spacecraft station modules and visiting spacecraft can attach, supporting increased traffic and future expansion. In a company statement, they said, the first Axiom module's bulkheads are well into their machining at our partner's facility. In terms of modules, the first and arguably most important is Axiom HAB-1. Axiom HAB-1 is expected to launch in late 2025. It will provide quarters for four crew members and volume to accommodate research and manufacturing applications. Each personal crew quarter is equipped with a large earth viewing window and touchscreen comms panel. A docking adapter allows visiting vehicles to dock to the Axiom station. Four radial ports on the hub provide for the addition of future modules and increase the station's docking capability. It will have propulsion, guidance, navigation, and station control systems. The first windowed pressurized module is approximately 11 meters long and 4.2 meters in diameter at the widest part. You then have the Axiom HAB2 module, which is expected to launch in 2026. Similar to the first module, this segment will provide quarters for an additional four crew members, allowing the station to support up to eight crew. It provides complete ECLSS support, commercial high data satellite communications, and a Canada Arm 3 styled remote manipulator system for the Axiom station. The next is Axiom's research and manufacturing facility module, which is expected to launch no earlier than 2026. While the two initial segments were very similar, this module has no crew living accommodations and instead focuses on research and manufacturing. It provides access to the unique microgravity environment as a platform to conduct innovative research, product development, process improvement, and manufacturing. It also was a bit smaller than the other modules, as part of the end of it will detach and become a separate viewing room toward the bottom of the station. Finally, the last primary module is a power thermal module. Axiom's power thermal module will provide power and thermal capacity equivalent to that of the ISS via solar arrays to support the station so that Axiom's station will be able to support itself once it disconnects from the ISS. It's expected to launch no earlier than 2027. Until this segment is launched, Axiom Station will be relying on the ISS to help provide power. This is exactly why the deadlines and launch of each segment are so crucial to the company. The module also adds EVA capability to the station. As for the interior, each segment will share a similar theme but feature differences depending on the actual module. Obviously, segments like the research and manufacturing module will be filled with equipment and some storage we can expect to see something very modern and bright with the addition of many windows throughout the station. It's hard to express how important and great of an opportunity the ISS connection is for Axiom Station. Arguably, the hardest part of creating a space station is the beginning when you are launching each segment one at a time. At this point, you need to power and get the station up and running with the limited amount of weight and size available from launch vehicles. This can change plans regarding launch dates and segment development times. Axiom Space, however, is the only company with the privilege of connecting its modules to the International Space Station. This partnership and strategic connection allows Axiom Space to effectively adopt and service the multinational user base of the ISS National Laboratory to seamlessly continue research and manufacturing initiatives. Axiom Station will host people, research, and manufacturing that will lead development for numerous industries using techniques that are only available in microgravity. The station will also service the rapidly expanding infrastructure and solutions operating in space and provide an accessible platform for private companies and national governments to continue the research and development of breakthrough innovations. 
All the way back in 2020, NASA awarded Axiom a firm fixed price, indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contract with a maximum potential value, inclusive of options, of $140 million over an up to seven-year ordering period consisting of a five-year base period and a two-year option. At the time, NASA had selected Axiom Space to provide at least one habitable commercial module to be attached to the International Space Station, as the agency continues to open up the station for commercial use. The element will attach to the space station's Node 2 forward port to demonstrate its ability to provide products and services and begin the transition to a sustainable, low-Earth orbit economy in which NASA is one of many customers. Developing commercial destinations in low-Earth orbit is one of five elements of NASA's plan to open the International Space Station to new commercial and marketing opportunities. The other elements of the five-point plan include efforts to make the station and crew resources available for commercial use through a new commercial use and pricing policy, enable private astronaut missions to the station, seek out and pursue opportunities to stimulate long-term, sustainable demand for these services, and quantify NASA's long-term demand for activities in low Earth orbit. Axiom's work to develop a commercial destination in space is a critical step for NASA to meet its long-term needs for astronaut training, scientific research, and technology demonstrations in low Earth orbit, said the NASA Administrator. We are transforming the way NASA works with industry to benefit the global economy and advance space exploration, he said. NASA selected Axiom from proposals submitted in response to a solicitation through Appendix 1 of NASA's Next Space Technologies for Exploration Partnerships, or Next Step 2, broad agency announcement, which offered private industry use of the station utilities and a port to attach one or more commercial elements to the orbiting laboratory. Through these combined efforts to develop commercial destinations, NASA is hoping to meet its long-term needs in low-Earth orbit well beyond the life of the station. Not long ago, NASA provided an updated plan for the retirement of the ISS. They decided to extend space station operations until 2030 to enable the United States to continue to reap various benefits for the next decade while U.S. industry develops commercial destinations and markets for a thriving space economy. The agency was quoted saying, Today, with U.S. commercial crew and cargo transportation systems online, the station is busier than ever. The ISS National Laboratory, responsible for utilizing 50% of NASA's resources aboard the space station, hosts hundreds of experiments from other government agencies, academia, and commercial users to return benefits to people and industry on the ground. Overall, this should give plenty of time for Axiom to complete the initial station. Axiom Space is continuing to make progress on the first commercial space station. The four modules that make it up each share some similarities and differences that, when combined, should facilitate consistent operations in LEO. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.